What do we know really? How certain are we of our reality? In our short lives, we experience very little of what the universe has to offer, yet we search for the answers. Our curiosity is the driving force that must have a collective conclusion, yet we are destined to remain on the Earth. The great game of astronomical wonder, and it just so happens that it's our move. Wait to hear this. Our discovery of space is our documentation of phenomena happening in space as observed from our home vantage. Our reality is our planet and we are not even scratching the surface of our reality, yet we are able to peer into the cosmic landscape as far as we can see into the vastness of space. Much closer to home however, a space hurricane complete with electric rain has been detected in Earth's upper atmosphere for the first time. With the requisite plasma and magnetic fields needed for such storms present in the atmospheres of planets across the universe, with the researchers suggesting that this should be commonplace in the electric universe. The hurricanes which we are most familiar with form in Earth's lower atmosphere over warm bodies of water. As the warm moist air rises, it creates a pocket of low pressure near the ocean's surface, which in turn sucks in the surrounding air generating strong winds and creating clouds that lead eventually to heavy rainfall. As a result, the inward rushing air is deflected on a circular path forming the characteristic spiral shape of a tropical storm. Hurricanes have also been spotted in the lower atmospheres of other planets in the solar system, planet Mars, planet Jupiter and Saturn. While similar phenomena, so-called solar tornadoes, have been spotted churning from the surface of the Sun, however, such swirling masses had never before been detected in the upper atmosphere of a planet until now. The space hurricane in question was recorded above the North Pole, some several hundred miles up into the ionosphere, detected back in August 2014 by four satellites in the US Defense Meteorological Satellite Program. However, it was only revealed in the data by recent retrospectic analysis led by researchers from China's Shandong University. Using three-dimensional magnetospheric modelling, the team was able to create an image of the phenomena, a swirling 600 mile wide funnel composed not of air, but plasma. It rotated around in an anti-clockwise direction, it sported multiple spiral arms, it had a cam eye at its centre, and it lasted for a duration of around 8 hours before gradually breaking down. Mike Lockwood, space scientist at Reading University, says that Until now, it was uncertain that the space plasma hurricanes even existed, so to prove this with such striking observations is absolutely incredible. Tropical storms are associated with huge amounts of energy, and these space hurricanes must be created by unusually large and rapid transfer of solar wind energy and charged particles into the Earth's upper atmosphere. Based on their model, the team believes that this phenomena formed as a result of interactions between incoming solar wind and the Earth's magnetic field. The hurricane actually appeared during a period of low solar and geomagnetic activity with the interplanetary magnetic field pointing northward, and this suggested overwhelmingly that hurricanes may be frequently occurring phenomena in the atmospheres of both Earth and other planets in the solar system. What makes this particular event so spectacular and notable was its longevity. The spiral arm structure that forms in the field aligned currents and aurora, the extremely large energy deposition at time of minimal geomagnetic activity, and the lobe reconnection extending unusually far on the night side because of the unusual combination of interplanetary conditions. While the space hurricane would have had little tangible impact down on the Earth's surface, the electron precipitation from such storms in the ionosphere does have the potential to disrupt communications, GPS satellites and radar operations, as well as potentially altering the orbital patterns of space debris at low orbital altitudes. This, the researchers concluded, highlights the importance of continued and improved monitoring of space weather and our electrically charged universe.